Good day. Today, I'm gonna discuss the chosen emerging technology, which is robotics. Robotics is a branch of engineering and science that includes electronics engineering, mechanical engineering, and computer science, and so on. This branch deals with the design, construction, used to control robots, sensory feedback, and information processing. These are some technologies which will replace human and human's activities in coming years. These robots are designed to be used for any purpose, but these are using in sensitive environments like bomb detection, the activation of various bombs. Robots can take any form, but many of them have given a human appearance. The robots can have taken the form of human appearance, may likely to have the walk like humans, speech, cognition, and most importantly, all the things a human can do. Most of the robots of today are inspired by nature and are known as bio-inspired robots. Robotics is, the, is that branch of engineering that deals with conception, design, operation, and manufacturing of robots. There was an author named Isaac Asimov. He said that he was the first person to give robotics name in a short story composed in 1940s. In that story, Isaac suggested three principles about how to guide this type of robotic machines. These are the Isaac three laws of robotics. First is, robots will never harm human beings. Second, Robots will follow instructions given by humans with breaking law 1. Robots will protect themselves without breaking other rules. There are some characteristics of robots. Appearance Robots have a physical body. They are held by the structure of their body and are moved by their mechanical parts. Without appearance, robots will just a software program. Brain. Another name of brain in robots is onboard control unit. Using this robot, receive information and sends commands as output. With this control unit, robot knows what to do, else it'll be just remote controlled machine. Sensors. The use of these sensors in robots is to gather info from the outside world and send it to brain. Basically, these sensors have circuits in them that produces the voltage in them. Actuators. The robot move and the parts with the help of these robots move is called actuators. Some examples of actuators are motors, pumps, and compressor. The brain tells the actuators when and how to respond or move. Program. Robots only works or responds to the instructions, which are provided to them in the form of a program. This program only tells the brain when to perform, which operation like to move, produce sounds, and etc. These are programs only tell the robots how to use sensors data to make decisions. Then behavior. Robots' behavior is decided by the program which has been built for it. Once the robot starts moving the movement, one can easily tell which kind of robot or a program is being installed inside the robot. There are some types of robots. First is articulated. The feature of this robot is its rotary joint and range of these are from 2 to 10 or more joints. The arm is connected to the rotor joint and each joint is known as the axis which provides a range of movements. Cartesian. These are also known as gantry robots. These, these have the three joints which use the Cartesian coordinate system. Example, X, Y, and Z. These are robots provided with attached wrist to provide rotatory motion. Cylindrical. 
These types of robots have at least one rotatory joint and one prismatic joint which are used to connect the links. The use of rotatory joints is to rotate along the axis and prismatic joint used to provide linear motion. Polar. These are also known as spherical robots. The arm is connected to base with a twisting joint and have a combination of two rotatory joint and one linear joint. Iskara. These robots are mainly used in assembly applications. Its arms is in cylindrical in design. It has the two parallel joints which are used to provide compliance in one selected plane. Delta. The structure of these robots is like spider shape. They are built by a giant parallelograms that are connected to the common base. The parallelogram moves in one dome shape work area. These are mainly used in food and electrical industries. There are some scope and limitations of robots. The advanced version of machine machines are robots which are used to do advanced tests and program to make decisions on their own. When a robot is designed, the most important thing to be keep in mind is that what the function is to be performed and what are the limitations of the robot. Each robot has a basic level of complexity and each of the levels has the scope which limits the functions that are to be performed. For general, basic robots, their complexity is divided by the number of lines, of tweeters, and the sensors that are used while the advanced robot complexity is decided by the number of microprocessors and microcontroller use. It's increasing any component in the robot, it is increasingly the scope of the robot with the every joint added. The degree of robot is enhanced. The advantage of using robots are they can get information that a human can get. They can perform tasks without any mistakes and very efficiently and fast. Maximum robots are automatic, so they can perform different tasks without needing human interaction. Robots are used in different factories to produce items like plane, car parts, and etc. They can be used for mining purposes and can be sent to Earth's Madrid. Disadvantages of using robots are they need the power supply to keep going. People working in factories may lose their jobs as robots can replace them. They need high maintenance to keep them working all day long. And the cost of maintaining the robots can be expensive. They can store huge, huge amount of data but they are not as efficient as our human brains. As we know, the robots work on the program that has been installed in them. So, other than the program installed, robots can do anything different. The most important disadvantage is that if the program of robots comes in a wrong hands, it can cause the huge amount of destruction. Applications of robots Different types of robots can perform different types of tasks. For example, many of the robots are made for assembly work, which means that they are not relevant for any other work. And these types of robots are called assembly robots. Similarly, for sim welding, many suppliers provide robots with their welding materials, and these types of robots are known as welding robots. On the other hand, Many robots are designed for heavy-duty work and are known as heavy-duty robots. And there are some applications given. Caterpillar plans which is aiming to develop remote-controlled machine and are expecting to develop heavy robots by 2021. 
A robot can also do herding tasks. Robots are increasingly being used more than humans in manufacturing, while in auto industry, there are more than half of the labor labors are robots. Many of robots are used as military robots. Robots have been used in cleaning up of areas like toxic waste and industrial waste. And agricultural robots, household robots, domestic robots, nano robots, and swarm robots.